Welcome back to Storytime. Pastor Lori here from the Ferret and the Newport United Methodist Churches. I've got another story for us. This week, I got a doggy story. It's Henry and Mudge. I believe Henry is the boy and Mudge is the dog, but we'll find out when we dig in. It says it's the first book, but I only have one book, so this will be the one and only. But if you have these books or look these books up, I guess there's more than one. This is the beginning of the story. So it goes like this. See, we have contents. We see there's different chapters. One's Henry and then Mudge, and they take turns, and then Henry and Mudge. So we're going to go through their different stories because they're not very long. So it goes like this. <laughs> Henry, he had no brothers and no sisters. I want a brother, he told his parents. Sorry, they said. Henry had no friends on his street. Poor Henry. He was lonely. Okay. I want to live on a different street, he told his parents. Sorry, they said. <laughs> Henry had no pets at, a, at home. I want to have a dog, he told his parents. Sorry, they almost said. But first they looked at their house with no brothers or sisters. Then they looked at their street with no children. Speaking of dogs, here comes mine, because I didn't lock the door. Sorry, y'all. He then looked at Henry's face. So first he said he wants to go on a different street, but then he says, can I have a, a dog? I must have a dog, and they're stinking, see? Then they looked at each other. Okay, they said. I want to hug you, Henry told his parents, and he did. So that's the first one that is Henry. Now it says Mudge. Mudge. So there is the doggy thing. So Henry searched for a dog. Not just any dog, said Henry. Not a short one, he said. Not a curly one, he said. And no pointed ears. He knows exactly what he wants. See, I don't usually like little doggies, but this one that I have down here now, he's a little feller. And I love him because he's my boy. Then... He found Mudge. Mudge had floppy ears, not pointed. And Mudge had straight fur, not curly. But Mudge was short. Because he's a puppy, Henry said. He'll grow. And did he ever. <laughs> he grew out of his puppy cage. He grew out of his dog cage. He even grew out of seven collars in a row. And when he finally stopped growing, and then said dot, dot, dot. So we have to, I wanted to show you the pictures though. Is all the collars, and it says, and when he finally stopped growing, he weighed 180 pounds. He stood three foot tall, and he drooled. I'm so glad you're not short, Henry said, and Mudge licked him, then sat on him. <laughs> Typical dog. He's a big feller, see? And then he kind of sits on him a little bit. Sometimes doggies get excited, and they want to lick your face they jump on you a little bit so that was midge mudge i want to call him midge for some reason but mudge now we're back to henry henry this is the gent remember henry henry used to walk to school alone when he walked he was used to worry about tornadoes ghosts biting dogs and bullies well that's a lot to worry about on the way to school he walked as fast as he could he looked straight ahead he never looked back but now he walked to school with Mudge. Ah, it's okay. He's walking to school by himself. He was in a hurry, but now he has his doggy with him, right? And now when he walked, he thought about vanilla ice cream, rain, rocks, and good dreams. He walked to school, but not fast. He walked to school and sometimes backward. He walked to school and patted Mudge's Big head. Happy. Aww. See, this is the buddy that he needed. Helped walk him to school. He got to school in time. Okay. Now we're back to Mudge. So we got another Mudge chapter. Mudge. Mudge loved Henry's room. He loved his dirty socks. He loved his stuffed bear. He loved the fish tank. But mostly he loved Henry's bed. Never seen a dog that don't like somebody's bed. See them, but you gotta watch it. They get your stuffed animals. But he likes being in the bed. Because in Henry's bed 
was Henry. Mudge liked to climb in with Henry. Then he loved to smell him. And I sniffing at you. He smelled his lemon hair. He smelled his milky mouth. He smelled his soapy ears. And he smelled his cho chocolate fingers. Oh, lots of smells. That tank's awful close to his bed. I don't make it up to rules here. Must be where his parents put him so he can see him when he wakes, wakes up, I guess. Then he put his head by Henry's head. And he looked at the fish tank. He looked at the bear. He looked at Henry. He licked him. And he fell asleep. One day, Mudge took a walk without Henry. The sun was shining. The birds were flying. The grass smelled sweet. Mudge couldn't wait for Henry, so he left. First, he starts out snoozing with him. Then he goes on a little adventure. We're back to Mudge again. I didn't realize we were starting a new chapter. But this is another chapter about the doggies. So we're back to Mudge. They're kind of blending together. And by the end, they are the chapters are put together. Now, he went down one road, sniffing bushes. And then down another road, kicking up dust. He went through a field, across the stream, into some pine trees. And when he came out on the other side, he was lost. Uh-oh. Mine, this happens when you go by yourself. That's why you should always have... Somebody with you. He couldn't smell Henry. He couldn't smell the front porch. He couldn't smell the street he lived on. Mudge looked all around and did not see anything or anyone he knew. He whined a little. He was alone without Henry. Then he lay down alone without Henry and he missed Henry's bed. <laughs> this is bad. This thing better not make me cry. There he is. There's the doggy. Let's see. Okay, we're back to Henry now. Henry thought Mudge would be with him always. He thought Mudge made everything safe. He thought Mudge would never go away. And when Mudge did go away, when Henry called and called, but Mid Mudge didn't come, Henry's heart hurt. And he cried for an hour. But when he finished crying, Henry said, Mudge loves me. He wouldn't leave. He must be lost. See, he was thinking. Yeah. He knows that's his buddy. He wasn't going to leave him. He was lost. And he's right. So Henry walked and walked. He called and called. And he looked and looked for his dog, Mudge. And he walked down one road, another road. The sun shone as Henry ran through a field, calling and calling. So here was a big picture. See the big field. This better have a happy ending. You're going to have me hear me holler. The birds flew past as he stood beside the stream, calling and calling, and the tears fell again. As he looked at the empty pine trees for his lost dog, Mudge, he called one last time. Okay, so he looks for him there. He's calling, and now he's on. Remember the pine trees? So he's called him one more time. And Mudge woke up from his lonely sleep and then came running. Oh, come on, Story. Don't let me down. So that we're at the last chapter, Henry and Mudge. So every day when Henry woke up, he saw Mudge's big head. And every day when Mudge woke up, he saw Henry's small face. So he made it all back okay. Yay. Then they ate breakfast at the same time. They ate supper at the same time. And when Henry was at school, Mudge just laid around and waited. Mudge never went for a walk without Henry again. And Henry never worried that Mudge would leave. Oh, they eat all their meals together. And then when he's gone, he takes a rest and sleeps. And he knows he will not go on a walk without him again. Sometimes in their dreams, they saw long silent roads, big wide fields, deep streams, and pine trees. In those dreams, Midge was alone, Henry was alone, so when Mudge woke up and knew Henry was with him, he remembered the dream and stayed closer. Oh, see, they sleep. Fortunately, sometimes he dreams of when he was lost, and it's a reminder that he needs to stay close. Last page. When Henry woke up and knew Midge was, Mudge was with him, he remembered the dream and the looking and the calling and the fear, and he knew that he would never lose Mudge again.
the end. Thank you for happy ending, Mr. Storymaker. By Cynthia Rylett, Henry, and Mudge, the first book. <laughs> Sometimes, well, we do get lost in life, figuratively and literally. Sometimes our doggies get lost too, and it makes us sad. And it's okay to be sad when we lose things. But that's why we have to stick close. Don't wander off. And why don't we pray for all of those who have pets today, that their pets will be healthy as long as they can be and happy. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for pets, even though sometimes they're bad. We thank you for their love. And we pray that they would always stay close to us like Mudge did after he learned that he should stay close. Help us not to have to have that lesson taught to us. Help us to love our pets and be good to them and do what mommy and daddy say to take care of them. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry this is late. I had to re-record it. But I had to have this doggy story. Have a great week. Love you guys. Bye.